Do you always forget English vocabulary? Well, if so, you're not alone. And this is actually one of the most common problems that students have. That's why in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you three amazing strategies you can use to learn, to memorize, and to remember new vocabulary in English. My name is Michael Anton. I'm an English communication coach, and it's my goal to make you fluent in English. With that said, let's get into the video and look at the first strategy. This strategy is what I like to call topic-based learning. What is topic-based learning? Topic-based learning is essentially a way of dividing or categorizing words. So normally, you might look for a list of intermediate or advanced vocabulary. You might have 50 words, you might have 100 words, but they're all random. They're not based on one specific topic. And you try to memorize these words, it's going to be difficult to do that because they're random words, there's no order, there's no structure, uh, so it's going to be quite difficult for your brain to remember them. Now, the best way to learn new vocabulary is to divide that vocabulary into topics. That means you have a list of words about sports, about music, about emotions, about travel, about health, all these different topics. And in each topic, you have a list of different words. Now, when you memorize that list, it's going to be a lot easier because you can structure those words in your head based on topics. And you're not going to forget the words because the topics are linked, they're structured, and they're much more organized than if you were to just memorize 100 random words with no connection. Always create lists of words in English based on different topics. That's the first strategy. Now, the second strategy is what I like to call self-talk. So, we know, obviously, you can practice English by talking to other people. But you can also practice by talking to yourself. Now, this is a relatively low-risk, low-pressure environment. You don't have to worry about people judging you. You don't have to worry about people making fun of you. You're just talking to yourself at home. Now, when you learn new vocabulary, it's not enough just to learn them once and to forget about them because you won't remember them. Instead, you need to learn new words and then actually use them in conversation. And obviously, what better way to practice than to talk to yourself? So you form sentences using those words you've just learned and you say them out loud and you have a conversation with yourself which allows you to connect those words with your actions, the physical action of moving your mouth. Now that's going to help your brain memorize the words better. So talk to yourself, use words you learned in conversation, and that's really, really going to help you memorize them and you won't forget them as much if you use this strategy. Now, the third strategy I want to give you is one that you might have heard of, you might have used it before, but I want to give you a little twist on it. So I want to tell you something that maybe you haven't heard before. Now, maybe you've heard of flashcards, flashcards. So flashcards are pieces of paper. On one side, you have the word, and on the other side of the paper, you have the definition. So you can actually use flashcards to test yourself, to quiz yourself, and to learn new vocabulary. How do you actually use flashcards effectively? First of all, you need to use them based on topics, as I said. So maybe you have 10 flashcards at the intermediate level about music, another 10 flashcards about sports, another 10 flashcards about vocabulary. So again, you're dividing these cards into topics. So you can quiz yourself based on topics. Now, some people use digital flashcards. That's great. But personally, I really like physical pen and paper flashcards, the old school method. And the reason for that is when you actually connect your writing with 
vocabulary, it's going to be easier to remember what you're writing. You're making a physical movement with your hand on the paper with the pen, and that's going to allow your brain to make new connections and to memorize the vocabulary better. If you just type words on your computer or on your phone, it's also okay, but it's not as good because you're not actually moving part of your body. You're not actually connecting muscles. You're not actually connecting any action with vocabulary. And what you also need to do is you need to use these flashcards and you need to quiz yourself every day. It's not enough just to learn 10 new words on Monday and then don't do anything on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. You need to actually practice the same words every day for at least two weeks. Because the more you practice, the more you see these words over the course of time, the easier it's going to be for you to remember them, the easier it's going to be for you to never forget them. So we've talked about three amazing strategies you can use. The first strategy was to divide vocabulary based on topics. The second strategy was to talk to yourself, what I call self-talk. And the third strategy was, of course, to use flashcards. If you employ these three strategies, trust me, your problems of forgetting vocabulary and having difficulties memorizing words will soon be a thing of the past. Make sure to subscribe to English at the Ready for more lessons. Leave a comment and a like on this video if you found it helpful. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.